Yeah. Going back to foraging, what, what else what else do you forage? And, and is that the way you have a break, you know, going out into nature, not just the excitement of finding food, but having a, a, a break from the kitchen and, and being outside in this majestic landscape? What does that mean to you? It's definitely huge. I think due, due, actually during coronavirus now actually it's made me realize how much I've missed walking and going outside because I've always kind of put it on the on the back burner a little bit I've, other people have foraged for us so whether we use a company or um you know James has done it for me or one of our staff has just popped out the car and gotten something quickly because we know where a patch is and then actually going out now and doing you know walks for an hour nothing beats actually foraging Person. by yourself yeah definitely i mean or with I you know with your husband or a member yeah. of staff it's fun what else is there to to forage we recently we found a lot of mushrooms they're quite early this year uh we found a lot of uh, chicken of the woods and some oyster mushrooms that are coming in last night we just found a couple of uh, golden oysters there's um where did you go, where did you go without giving the game away about exactly where you find the mushrooms and obviously we should say to readers please don't forage mushrooms unless, unless you know yeah unless you know exactly what you're looking for or you're with a foraging expert because yeah. it can be extremely toxic so yeah definitely we we've only been doing it for maybe sort of two three years really with the mushrooms uh, we foraged other things previously um with anything really if you're not sure just to leave it is the, the best policy really and taking a picture and maybe just showing other people and getting some advice but we use we, we because the mushrooms that we find tend to be on sort of native trees like your oak or some birch and you know just your ba very basic trees um, it can be in any kind of woodland the lakes are the lake district is absolutely fantastic for mushrooms there's some patches in the Yorkshire Dales. I think it's the only difficult thing around here is having access to the woods. So unless you know the people. Because it's on private land. It is, yeah. So they, there's, the Lake District is better for that because there's a lot more um, sort of nature reserves and things that actually do include. Open, ac open access. Land. Yeah, 